Listen to this really fun story. 26 years young, Matthew Wernig of Montana has done anything uh, to find love. Within five and a half months, he went on 50 dates in all 50 states. He couldn't find the one, but he documented, uh, documented his travels and his dates all along the way. Look at this on TikTok, 70 million views later. He did it again. Yeah, he packed up his Ford and hit the road for more love. Okay, so yeah, they went to great heights, it looks like. My gosh, 100 dates later, he's still single, ladies. So Matthew joins us now with his story. Matthew, thanks for being oh here. Oh my we, we have got to know the deal, sir. Uh, your whole journey began during the pandemic when, what, you set a goal for to go on a virtual date with a girl from every state. How did you take it from virtual to saying, okay, let's hit the road and meet these women in person? Yeah, so, well, good morning, ladies. Uh, yeah, so when I was doing things virtually, you know, there's kind of a ceiling. There's only so <clears throat> there's only so much that you can do. And once things started opening back up, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go visit them all in person. And so that's what I did. And we went on some amazing dates. I went zip lining. I did a salsa dancing class, went for four-wheeling rides, and really had all these cool experiences to share with these ladies. I would like to know the list of dates because sometimes you just don't know what to do with your boo. And it's like, this would be a great little handbook. But how did you find a woman in each state? Did they reach out to you on TikTok? Uh, so the first time I went around, uh, yep, they reached out to me through social media or I matched with them on a dating app. And the second oh. time I did it, uh, girls actually applied to go on a date, which was apply, oh, uh, apply, like, oh, an application process. <laughs> like you had a screening yeah. process. What was I, the, I what did, were the requirements? Yeah, but I, I had like a whole process, and I'd go through the applications. We got over ten thousand applications in less than two yes. months, which what? was really cool. Yeah, ten thousand women seeking love with you. Well, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you say seeking love, but maybe seeking a date. You know, <laughs> having a fun and little date. Okay. You, you took wow. these ladies on some extravagant trips. We've seen fireworks. I think an airplane, photo shoots. Um, okay, but I have to say, as extravagant as these look, fifty dates, and you haven't found the one. There had to have been some doozies, right? I, what What was your worst experience? Gotta know. Yeah. Yeah, doozies would be an understatement with some of them. Uh, you know, I, I had, you know, a lot of great dates, but there were some that definitely were a lot of, uh, that were awkward. I think, um, you know, one of my worst experiences was one of my dates ended up hitting on our waiter and asking him for uh, yeah. his his number after I just paid for dinner. It was it was pretty embarrassing. What's and I didn't know awkward. I, Did I they didn't think know you were do, siblings? But, well, what's that? Did they think that you guys were siblings? Like, oh, you guys must not be dating. You must be related. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's you bad. Know? She, Wait. She rolled, with it. she rolled with it, though. Matt, That's how did bad. you pay for all of these dates, dude? <laughs> uh, that's that's a good question. My pocketbook my pocketbook hurt after doing that twice. Um, but no, I, I paid for things through sponsors, brand deals, TikTok, social media. Uh, things like that is is how I was able to bring in revenue to continue my journey and pay for all these dates. Okay, well, well, he, you know, here's your chance. You're on a national morning news show. Ladies are watching. Uh, who, what are you looking for in a woman? What's your type? Um, you know, when you envision yourself with the one, who is she? You know, that's that's a good question. I, you know, I think for me it's tough when I go on all these dates because I only go on one date. And so am I going to just hop ship? And if I had a really good date in South Carolina, am I going to go and, you know, visit her and live there? I don't want to really do distance. But for me, you know, the ideal girl uh, is someone that's fun, outgoing, spontaneous, uh, likes to do different things. She's upbeat, genuine. Uh, and just likes to have a good time. And so I, I met a lot of those girls along my journey, but maybe I'm just not at that place right now, or maybe I still just haven't found the one. I guess uh, we'll see. I, I have to ask you this. Uh, what is, do any of these women say to you, okay, you're really cute, I really like you, I like to have a good time, but I feel like, you know what, you're just doing this to be TikTok famous. Not that you can't have both. You can't have love and be TikTok famous, but what do you say to women who are really interested but feel like this is just a game for you? Well, you know, I wouldn't say that they have, I would say that there's a point to that to, to an extent because I have a mission to accomplish of going on a date in every state and, and that's the brand and that's the mission of it. 
But, you know, for me, I'm just really looking to go and treat all these ladies to an extravagant, fun-filled date, see if it maybe even inspires them to get back into the dating world. I've gone on a lot of dates where some of these girls, they they have had some bad history uh, oh, with the last that's, few dates. That's very and then And then when they go on the date with me, they're like, oh, wow, like this was a lot of fun. And so maybe if I can inspire them to get back out there, that's I don't know, cool. stuff like yeah. that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.